Dr. Rooney, Provost Callahan, Dean Stevens, faculty, guests, and most importantly, my fellow graduates of the Quinlan School of Business Class of 2019. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Neriman Suhail Shreber. I'm delighted to be your commencement speaker for this momentous occasion. Colleagues, I extend my deepest congratulations on reaching this remarkable milestone in your life. And parents, congratulations to you as well. This is as much your achievement as it is ours. I am the sixth and final child that my parents have put through college, so I think they'll be celebrating a little more than me today. <laughs> When we first stepped through the green doors of the Cudahy Library as part of our traditional convocation walk during our freshman year, most of us were unsure of where the next four years would take us and the kind of people we would ultimately become. Fast forward four years, stepping through those same green doors to signify the end of our journey at Loyola, it finally hit me that we have just experienced some of the most transformative years of our lives from the professors who turned into friends and mentors, to the friends who turned into family, to the various organizations we were a part of, we have each made an impact and been impacted in individual and distinctive ways. This university taught us to be committed to the service of humanity through learning, justice, and faith. Service that promotes justice involves using our leadership to ensure freedom of inquiry and the pursuit of truth. Consequently, my Loyola education has prepared me exceptionally well for the next chapter of my life, law school. I believe my business degrees and the law degree I will attain are entwined because business permeates every aspect of society. I've aspired to be a lawyer since I was nine years old. During my senior year of high school, when I was trying to figure out what to study in college to best position myself for a legal career, I spoke to about 20 attorneys and all but one told me I should not go to law school. <laughs> they said the fact that I'm a woman, and not just any woman, but a Muslim who wears the hijab, I could pretty much kiss any chance I have at a legal career away. They said no law firm would hire me. And some of those attorneys were also Muslim. After each conversation, I doubted what I knew deep down was my purpose, to be of service to others through the preservation of justice something Loyola's social justice-driven mission has only affirmed for me. For a second, I believed them, because I knew there was some truth to what they said. But then I just whispered to myself, why not me? And I kept whispering it for the past four years. Now, I'm coming up on my two-year work anniversary at a law firm. Not only that, I have been a Not only that, I have been accepted to law school and will be starting this fall. As a graduate of the Quinlan School of Business, there are three profound lessons I've learned from my experience that I would like to share with you all today. First, we need to look at business as a vocation, not just as a job. Let me say that once more. Business is a vocation, not a job. Business provides a way to make a profit, but it more importantly provides a way to be of service and help to oneself and others. Ethics-based leadership is a key tenet of our Quinlan education. Therefore, we must be ethically and socially responsible leaders. Make that promise to yourself today as you walk across the stage and receive your diploma. Have consistent integrity in your work and be fair and honest in your dealings with others. Speak up against unethical behavior, no matter the consequence. Influence and empower those around you to do good through leading by example. Build community with the understanding that people and societies are interconnected and interdependent, as our Jesuit education taught us. Listen to and learn from others. St. Ignatius of Loyola said, speak little, listen much. Either you'll learn what to do, or you'll learn what not to do, both are equally important. And above all, be kind and compassionate always. Second, 
the status quo is not meant to be followed blindly. Think critically about the status quo. And if it doesn't make sense to you, challenge it. Have a bias for action and a sense of urgency in your approach to understanding and mitigating the issues in our society. A mantra I repeat to myself constantly is, nothing changes if nothing changes. That life doesn't move in the ways we want it to unless we make the first move. So never underestimate your ability to be a force of change. Third, and listen to this one closely, the depth of your character correlates with the height of your gratitude. Take a moment to think about every individual who has invested in you, loved you, encouraged and supported you, and thus helped you become the person you are today. Be grateful for their influence. I'd like to take a moment here to thank my mom and dad and my sisters for all the sacrifices they've made for me and for being the best support system I could ask for. Every experience we've had, both positive and negative, has brought us to this pivotal moment in our lives. Learning to extend our appreciation and express gratitude in every instance is key to strengthening our character. As we take our next steps into the world, strive to be remembered as someone who used whatever talent they had to make a difference and who did their work to the very best of their ability. Someone who used their talents to help repair tears in their society, to make things a little better through the use of whatever ability they possessed, to do something outside themselves. We absentmindedly walked past this quote every day in the Schreiber Center, but it is intrinsic to the education we've received. Michael Quinlan said, a Jesuit education shows you how to give back to others and how to be an ethical person and still succeed at what you do. What got us this far is passion and purpose. We wouldn't be graduating from a world-class institution like Loyola if it weren't for our drive and ambition. Keep that going. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something but especially not yourself. Go conquer the world. Just remember this, why not you? You made it this far. As we close the significant chapter of our lives, let us take pride in what we've accomplished and who we've become. Keep growing, keep striving, keep succeeding, and always have faith in yourself. Congratulations, class of 2019. Let's go change the world.